Okay, so this is my first EC video. Never done one before. New here on YouTube. I've been watching forever, but got a bunch of good ideas from people, so I figured, you know, it was probably time to see if I could contribute to this whatsoever. So, first video, don't be too difficult. Uh, this is what I carried today. It seems like a lot of stuff, at least to me. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that carry a hell of a lot more, and so you probably make me look like shit. But this is what I carried today. Um, order of importance, say my Smith & Wesson MP Shield 9 is loaded. Dangered up, as always. Don't pull the trigger. Nothing bad will happen. So I've been carrying that for a while, really digging it. Carrying it in this Nate Squared Tactical Holster. Had it for a couple years now. Really, really digging. It's very comfortable. Uh, I don't always carry a backup, but since it in Oklahoma being wintertime, colder than hell, I've been carrying this Ruger LCP Custom just in the pocket carrying this DeSantis pocket holster. So, really digging this. And actually, if I'm just lounging around the house or something, this is always in my pocket. If I got to run to the gym or something real quick, or run a, run a convenience store real quick or something, throw this in my pocket, you know. And I shoot pretty good groups with it. It's not too bad. It's a hell of a lot better than the regular LCP. It's got real sights on it. I actually stick up a little bit more, but I like it. Okay, always carry a backup mag for my shield. You know, never know. Doesn't take up a ton of space. Extra pocket. You know, just throw it on there. Uh, next, knife. I have a lot of knives that I rotate throughout. This is my uh, ZT. Really, really dig it. It's a Hinderer Design ZT0562 in carbon fiber with a CTS204P steel. Stropped it up a few times. That's all I've had to do to it. Haven't really had to sharpen it. But you know, real smooth action. Good flipper. You know, just really dig it. It's pretty awesome. You know, pretty light given, you know, what you got. Good centering. You know, it's an awesome knife. Uh, pocket clip's pretty deep carry. You know, I mean, it's really nothing sticking out. I actually don't like that, to be honest. I like about that much or so sticking out, so I have something to grab. I wish it had a lanyard hole. Uh, I guess there is a little bit of a this last uh, body pin there. I could probably loop some 550 cord around, but it might get cut off like it did on one of my striders. But uh, really digging. That's a good knife. Uh, always, always, always. I have a nice little traditional knife with me. Just goes in your little watch, you know, coin pocket of your jeans, those that fifth pocket. Just goes in there perfect. Can't tell it's there. You know, if you're out in public, you know, got a string you gotta cut off or something under your fingernails or something, you really don't, you know, wanna go whipping this out and freaking some people out, which I don't really give a shit about, but you know, you know, just common courtesy, whatever. You know, you pull this little thing out, this case tiny Texas toothpick. Nobody's going to even like bat an eye at you. You know, awesome knife. Came relatively sharp. You know, not too bad. It's a good little EDC knife. And to be honest, it does about everything I need a knife to do in my total EDC, you know, role. You know, I carry that big awesome knife, and yeah, it's kick-ass, but in all actuality, there haven't been too many circumstances that I couldn't have gotten by with just this. But it's, it's just a little classier. I like it. You know, it's something Grandpa would have carried. Dig it. Uh, next... So we'll go to the multi-tool. I just started carrying a multi-tool actually. I, you know, maybe not in the summertime. In the summertime I have a little smaller one that I might throw in the pocket. But since it's winter, I've been carrying it in this Leatherman sheath that it came with. It's a Leatherman Wave multi-tool. And it's pretty sweet, you know. You know, it's uh, got everything you need. I mean, you could really get by with just a multi-tool. It's got all these outside accessible blades and tools and everything. You got to you know, regular drop point blade there. You have a serrated bread knife almost <laughs> there. You have here you have a file, which I think is cool. You got a you know wood metal file you can groove with it, but you also have this diamond file on the back if you ever got in a pinch and you really had to screw up the edge of your knife real quick. Uh you got a saw on this side. I'll probably never use that, but it's cool. Open it up. You got your needle nose, regular pliers, wire cutters. And here, you know, flathead. I like this. It's like a little eyeglass screwdriver. It's pretty cool. It's got a little flathead on that side. And then a little bitty, or 
excuse me, uh, Phillips on that side, and then a little bitty flathead on this side. That's pretty sweet. And just, I say it just pops back in there. I'm trying to do this with, without screwing up the camera. And I'll put that in later. Can't do it through the viewfinder. And this is cool. Comes with a nice little pair of scissors. And all these tools lock, by the way. This little plunger, lock that down. On this side, this is one of the reasons I bought the Wave, was these bits. These big ones, it's a Phillips on this side, flathead on this side. And I don't have the bit accessories yet, but you can buy them from Leatherman. They have, you know, tons of different bits with different torques and hex and different size and all that. You got the can opener, bottle opener, wire strippers. Pretty cool. You know, so all in all, it's awesome multi-tool. You know, it's really smooth. And you can tell it's Leatherman, you know. There's no wiggle anyway. Not when it's closed, nothing. So, really dig it. Cool deal. Uh, next, I got this pen. <laughs> It's a hinderer investigator pen, you know, stainless steel, bead blasted, pretty cool, you know, Fisher Space pen inserts, all that cool jazz, you know, it's a tactical pen with this little blunt tip that, you know, if you really had to jab somebody, I suppose you could, but I bought it because it looked badass and it doesn't weigh a lot, it's a cool little pen, I always get compliments anytime I open it up and use it, and I like this screw on cap because I've had pens with the you know, clicker, and I've sat down before and they've clicked open my pocket and, you know, leaked ink all over the place, so this is pretty cool, dude. This flashlight, I've had this flashlight for about two years, and I ain't giving it up. I love it. I might get one, different colors. They have a few. It's a Streamlight Stylus Pro. I can't remember exactly how many lumens. I think it's like 65 or something. It just runs off of, like, I think it's just two AAA. Yeah, just two regular AAA. I don't even have lithium in there. Usually do. Uh, I found lithium batteries get more output and they last longer, especially with these little, you know, AAA batteries. But, dude, I mean, this thing has been through hell. I've taken a hiking. It's fallen in a river before. It's been left out in the rain for hours. There's O-rings everywhere in this main seal and the tail cap seal. There's O-rings, you know, sealed water tight. And I don't know how long they'd last, you know, underwater, but I've dropped this in... A river while I was hiking uh, down in southeast Oklahoma and it was in there for you know maybe a minute until I realized oh shit my light's gone and I had to find it and luckily I was just sitting there you know on the bank and it was just right there but completely submerged no damage it's awesome last little piece of EDC it's my G-Shock I've had this for about two years wear it every day wear it to the gym wear it running school work all that good stuff and man it's never failed on me it's awesome you know sometimes i i sleep in it all the time i don't want to but i forget it's there a lot of times i'll take a shower forget it's there so luckily it's you know waterproof or at least water resistant so that's pretty cool but it's you know got all the nothing like crazy no barometer altitude temperature and all that bullshit doesn't really matter just got you know everything you need to watch you know stop clock you know uh timer you can do military standard time different you know time zones all that cool stuff so well that was my EDC for today I have a a lot of other stuff that I kind of intermingle with all this you know I might this is usually what I'll have on me every day you know these items representing what they are like you know a tactical folder a traditional a flashlight Sometimes these things will change, you know, within themselves, you know, sometimes I'll carry an Emerson for the tactical blade or Spyderco or something like that. Have a couple different multi-tools, although I've been, you know, sticking with this wave, really digging it. I have a ton of traditional knives that I like to rotate, but I definitely have my favorites. This is one of them. Uh, wearing the same watch all the time. The gun doesn't change much. That shield's pretty sweet. I, uh... Sometimes if I know I'm going outside, I'll be wearing like a you know bigger jacket or something. I'll carry my Glock 19 with a weapon light outside the waistband, but I'll have my jacket over it so it's still concealed. Just so that I can have, you know, 16 rounds plus a light, you know, and nobody can tell because I have a jacket on. But definitely fun in wintertime. She can carry a hell of a lot more shit. So, you know, this is my first video. Let me know what you think. Please be gentle. I'm sorry. You know, I'm not working with working with a Galaxy S6 and some freaking 
like homemade tripod that I just kind of taped together. So apologize if the quality isn't all that. But, you know, comments, you know, questions, anything, just let me know. I appreciate you guys listening. Have a good one.